Hi everyone, I'm Shreyas Janyal. I've made an automatic robotic arm and in this video I'm going to explain how I made it and explain the working of it as well. For this we will need an Arduino Omega, a breadboard, four servo motors as you can see I've mounted it on a stand as well as given it in this arrangement. The first servo is attached to the stand like this so that it can move around like this the second servo is attached sideways and the this entire this entire combination of so uh, ice cream sticks and uh, these two servos is attached like this then i have used a 9 volt battery a 5 volt adapter as well as an led and then ldr the LDR I've covered it with ice cream sticks so that any external light source does not interfere with its reading. Also, you can see some potentiometers here. You do not need to use these potentiometers. I've just used it. For, uh, I'm using it for another project which I will upload in a future video. So, you do not need to connect this to the Arduino. Also, the 5 volt adapter usually comes in this sort of connection. So, you just need to cut it and use uh, connecting wires and connect it to the breadboard. Also, the 9 volt battery also appears in this sort of connection. So, you again need to cut it and use some connecting wires to connect it to the breadboard. Now, I will show you the circuit diagram for this project. Servo 1 is connected to pin 11 on the Arduino. Servo 2 is connected to pin 3 on the Arduino. Servo 3 is connected to pin 8 on the Arduino. And Servo 4 is connected to pin 7 on the Arduino. Also, the LDR and the LED is connected to the Arduino as well. The LED is connected to the positive and the negative term rails of the breadboard. And the LDR, one end of the LDR is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and the other end of the LDR is connected to the analog input 7 pin which is used for the input signal. Also the 9 volt battery is used for extra power. The positive side is connected to the positive terminal and the negative side is connected to the negative terminal. Also the 5 volt adapter is connected to the positive and the negative rails as well. The po sometimes in the 5 volt adapter the positive side may appear as red or white wires you do not need to get confused with the red and white wires both of them are positive so you just need to connect it to the positive rail now I'll show you the program for this project you can now pause the video so that you can write down this program on the computer and upload it now I will show you how it works when the object comes in front of the LDR it hinders the flow of light and so it the servo moves according to the program upon reaching that area the gripper arms will move I have made these arms out of cardboard but you can also uh, purchase the original arms Now as soon as it has picked up the object, the servo again starts moving and it moves it to the other end. Now as soon as it is comes there, the servo moves down and the grippers open up and it drops the object here. Now the servos move up and the grippers close. Thank you for watching.